Hello people, today I'm going to be reading through the new Peggy novel called Permanent Detention. So before I start, you better leave a thumbs up on this video, okay? Please do that. And yeah, this is written by Van Notes, or The Notes, however you say that. And the art is by Malu Menezes, however the hell you say that. And it's made by, uh, yeah, the company that's Scholastic, however you say that, as always. So... Yeah, let's actually start reading this thing. Let me just move my mouse out of the way. Okay, so we can begin now. Right, so let, let's look at the blurb. Oh yeah, join Willow and newcomer Cammy. Oh look, Cammy, Cammy. As they escape from the clutches of Piggy and the danger-filled elementary school in this terrifying graphic novel adventure. After the outbreak of a zombie-like disease that's turned the world upside down, Willow and her mysterious team, the Silver Pole, do all they can to stay alive. When Piggy ambushes Willow and Cammy, the two escape to an abandoned school, only to find her have to survive a barbarian clan of kindergartners, a gladiator pit in the canteen, and an infected-filled gym, all with Piggy hot on their trail. Can they escape in one piece, or will this be the end of Willow and the Silver Paw? I hope it is. Okay, chapter one. After an outbreak that's turned the world upside down, Willow and her team of survivors, the Silver Paw, do all they can to stay alive. It's difficult when there's infected roaming everywhere, and danger lurks around every corner. It's easier when you're with your crew, but what if you get split up? Yes, what if you do? Yeah, I should put the book over here, shouldn't I? Oh yeah, so here we are. Last stop, Katie and Pandy. It's almost sundown, and um, we've been away from the Silverpaw base for too long. I bet they're worried about us already. Mm. The this mission was boring, Willow. I thought I'd actually get to use my katana. We're lucky you didn't have to. The infected are no joke, Pandy. If you're confronted by one, run fast. Her. That's a reference to Marvel, obviously. Yeah, yeah, I get it. All right, team. In and out. Nice and clean. Okay. And, oh, Kirby's Comic Shop. So, they're like breaking into the shop here. Hmm. In a heist. Uh, all clear. Uh, so, what are we trying to find here? Bargaining supplies. Yes, they're looking for the cheap stuff. Hmm. Since money is useless now, it seems comic books are the only thing nerds at other settlements want to bargain with. Wow, look at all these mash-up mon cards. Think you still remember how to play? We'll find out back at the base. Ugh, come on. Card games, that's kid stuff. Come on, come on. There's got to be a copy here. I can't believe it. The holographic edition of Veginator Issue. Yes, Veginator Issue 1. Yes, okay. And then, what's that? I feel like I'm back in middle school before the infected came. What's that? I knew you were a baby, but I didn't think you still liked picture books. Willow, snap out of it. Just seems valuable. I bet we can get a lot of canned beans for it. We've got company. Yo, yeah, who is it? Infected. We were here too long. And there's the infected. Hurry, maybe there's a back door. Hmm, maybe, maybe there is. Hmm. Oh, yes, there is. Look, there's even more comic books. Well, let's the infected read them. Uh, I will hunt you to extinction. Yeah, that's a funny looking cardboard cutout there. Why do I think that was real? There's the door. We made it. Coast is clear, boss. Uh, that should buy us a few seconds. How did so many of show up so fast? It's like they were being led. And there's tap, tap, tap. What's that sound? I honestly have no clue. It sounds like a baseball bat. Oh no. It's her. It's Piggy. Yes, it's Piggy herself. Yeah. Okay. I bet we could take her now that we have some room to move, boss. Trust me, there's no beating that one. We'll split up. You two go left, I'll go right. No matter what, we can't reveal the base to them. I'll return once I've led them away. Come and get me. You're not such a big deal. Yes, aren't you now? Guess leaders can never take the easy way. They may be as strong, but they're not as fast as me. Never thought I'd end up here again. Oh, middle school flashback. Smile, Willow. Middle school, here I come. <laughs> With the rainbow shirt and everything. 
Ugh, worst <laughs> years of my life. And it says, stay out, no infected beyond this point. Looks like I don't have an option, though. Good. Not even a bent corner. Oof. Yo, what is that she threw over? Too many bad memories here. Back when I was just a weak little nobody. I made it out of here alive once. I can do it again. Ouch. Okay, there is Piggy right there again. Ugh. Can't get me now. Wait. What's that? Yeah, who is that? No, not another one. Not after all that. Come with me. Maybe that's not an infected, because seem to be a good guy. Okay, chapter two we're on to now. Right, so let's see what's going on down in chapter two. We're, now, Willow, you told your teacher someone's been bullying you. Is this true? Can you tell me more? Let me just adjust my chair real quick. Ugh. Oh, yeah, that, that's much better. Better for my posture. Hang on. Oh, much better. Um, well, actually, I lied, sir. No one's been bullying me. I made it up. This is a serious complaint to raise, Willow, and I'm a busy man. I'm giving you one week of lunch detention. Damn. Okay, I'm back to this part now. My deck strategy is all off now. My entire deck was built around Paracy, but stupid Dalton had to take it. Without poison points, there's no way I can summon my legal toxic le uh, summon my toxic legion. If only I could get my hands on more cards. Yeah, so it's not infected. Seems to be like a card node. Ah, bro, who the hell is that? Mm. Oh, thank goodness you're finally awake. I'm Cami Willow. Yeah. This is his Cammy, the main character of this book. Too bad it's a female, huh? I was worried that I hadn't correctly followed the steps in my journal. How long was I out? A whole day. That pig must have hit you hard. But when you follow Cammy's guide to surviving middle school, you'll always be okay. Hmm. I just escaped high school. Okay, so survival tip for middle school. Uh, one, emergency first aid. In the event of an emergency, call for help. See more in later entries. In the meantime, you can save someone's life by making sure they receive first aid. Every emergency is different though, which is why it's important to learn how to handle different situations. Step 1. Remove the individual from immediate dangers such as fire, gas leaks, or scary infected pigs with bats. Step 2. Make sure the injured person is kept still if you can. Elevate their legs a few inches off the ground in case they are in shock. Step 3. If the person is wounded, apply bandages or use available ster st sterile materials. Apply steady pressure to stop bleeding. Step 4. Keep your eye on the injured person for changes in condition until help arrives. But that's real nice, kid. But I need to get out of here. The silver paw is probably looking all over for me. Let's not go that way, mum, unless we want to run into the infected again. Don't you ever call me mum again, squirt. You got it, mum. Okay, so if I can't get out the front, then which way do I go to get out of here? Oh, I moved my camera by accident. Why would you want to leave? According to the rule of three, we're safe right in the principal's office. Okay, survival tip for middle school two. Rules of three. The body is resilient, but in an emergency situation, follow the rule of threes. You can only survive three minutes without oxygen. Three hours without shelter in extreme weather. Three days without water. Three weeks without food. I mean, that's all true. You're going to keep doing this, aren't you? We don't have to worry about air or shelter, which leaves only food and water. We have plenty of supplies. No reason to leave. Yeah, I'm not hanging out in my old middle school. I've spent enough time at this dump already. Mum, it's, it's, it's too dangerous out there. You've already got hurt. I've dealt with worse. Sure you have. Okay, uh, let me turn the page. Ugh. And as much as I'd like to leave you behind, you'd be a lot safer with the silver paw than here. No way, I'm perfectly safe here. What if I told you I could help you get more of these nerd cards? Really? Yeah. We found boxes of them earlier today. You could have them all. All the, the mashup mon cards up for grabs. That's good enough for me. It's good enough reason for me. I didn't think I'd have to use my emergency escape plan, 
but you've convinced me. I've barely left this office, but it's scary out there. Thank goodness, safe and sound, Temper. Uh, okay. So, do you, like, do you have any weapons around here? Crossbows, katanas? No katanas, but maybe the principal confiscated something. Not a lot to work with. Does uh, this work, mum? I guess it's better than nothing. It's a slingshot. Okay, here is my updated map of the school. Survival tip for middle school three. Map of the terrain, so the forest and the gym. Potential food stores in the canteen. Potential weapon cache in the playground. Point of tactical advantage, principal's office and Cammy's base. Strange noises at night, avoid. Okay. Reminding me of FNAF that, so why do I keep moving my camera? I didn't mean to do that. Okay, not much has changed around here. The fastest way out of here would be through the playground, into the cafeteria, past the gym, and then into the forest. Mom, didn't you read my notes? There are scary noises coming from the playground. I can deal with scary noises, especially with my lethal slingshot. Sure you can. No point in leaving all my supplies behind. So, you've been here all by yourself? My journal says that in an emergency, wait until help arrives. Okay, okay, puts the journal away. Squirt. Mm. Like I said, uh, uh, I got a, got a light in there? Like I said, always prepared. Looks like everyone else left in a hurry. The infected came through a long time ago. I don't know what happened to anyone else. Don't get upset, kid. You're with me now. I'll get you out of here. Thank you, Mum. You're the coolest. Thanks, Willow. Uh, you're the coolest. If you hadn't taken the fall for putting that thumbtack under Principal Dia's chair... Uh, oh, be reminded of past trauma. Uh, yeah. I'd be the one with a month of detention. Yeah. Kids used to say that to me all the time. And she's like tearing down the detention sign. Tap, tap, tap. Wait, squirt. Do you hear that? What's that, mum? Hold the door. The chief, follow me. Sorry, I must be getting paranoid. Eh, you must be. Tap, 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 tap. Oh my god. It's Piggy again. Wow, bro. Just wow. Okay. And we're now on to chapter 3. So, this is where I'm gonna leave off for now. Gonna do another one tomorrow, so if you did enjoy, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye!